Okay, so 2 plus 5 6 over 5 minus 1 third. We want to calculate the top, calculate the bottom, and then divide. So, um, so at the top fraction, we're going to um, add 2 plus 5 6. And the first step is to write 2 as a fraction. So how can you write 2 as a fraction, right? Two over one. One. Perfect. Two over one. So you've got two over one plus five over six. And you want to get a common denominator now. So you want to multiply two over one by something over something to make the bottoms the same. And that would be. 6 over 6, right? Yeah. So we should have 12 sixths plus 5 sixths, which is 17 sixths. Are you okay with the top? 17 sixths? The 2 yeah. becomes 12 sixths, add it to 5, 17 sixths. And that's all going to be divided by whatever we get for the bottom. It's 5 minus a third. The first step is to write 5 as a fraction. 5 is 5 over 1. 1, right? 5 over 1 plus, or sorry, minus, minus 1 third. So it's 5 over 1 times something to get thirds times three. Yep. And three over three. Yep. And that is 15 thirds minus one third. 14 thirds, isn't it? Yeah. So we have 17 six divided by 14 thirds. This divide by sign this big fraction bar here is like a divide by sign. So that's 17 sixths divided by 14 thirds. So we got to write this complex fraction as the top fraction divided by the bottom fraction. Okay, to there? All right. Yeah. The next step is go 17 over 6 and multiply and flip this guy. Multiply by the, the uh, reciprocal of the fraction on the right. So flip the fraction on the right and multiply. And before you get 51 over 84 or whatever it is, you want to be thinking, can I cross cancel common factors? Right? Because that's going to make this easier again, isn't it? Yes. So 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 6 goes twice. Anything else? No. Can't, why can't I cross cancel 2 and 14? They're both denominators. They're also in the bottom, exactly, yep, both denominators. So 17 times 1 is 17, 2 times 14 is 28. And that's our answer there, right?